All right, what's up guys? So today I was planning to talk more about structs, but I decided I'm gonna save that for a more advanced video and I'm gonna talk about modules. So you can see here that I have pretty much the same code from the previous video. And I'm gonna be talking about how to make this look better. So modules is a way of breaking up your code. And it's a nice way of just organizing it and also making it easier for other people to use your code. So right now, if we look at this struct file, everything is just here, right? We have this prism stuff. We have the circle stuff. We have the main driver function, which I call main in this case. And they're all kind of doing different things, but they're all here and kind of messy, right? If someone was trying to find prism stuff, they would have to look up here, but then, oh my gosh, there's circle stuff all of a sudden. And if you would imagine this is a thousand line file of doing 20 different things, it'd be very convoluted and just a giant mess to go through. The modules allows you to break that up. You can see here, I have three files here and we're gonna break all this stuff up. So first, you're gonna see a lot of copy and pasting going on. So because this is the main stuff, I'm going to copy this and the actual main file, and just paste it in here. And this we're just going to leave alone. And then go back to the struct file. Now because this is all prism stuff, I'm going to copy all this. And we're going to first make our first module. So I'm going to call this module. Is in mod an end statement of module and there it is okay so we just made our first module and really i just copy and paste the stuff so a module is able to hold structs it will hold functions you can put constants all that stuff and really it's just all this code here and when we set up this file more correctly we'll be able to import all this into this this uh main file and then we're going to do the same thing for a circle here so I'll copy and paste this circle is a lot smaller similar thing circle mod and end of module oh, i don't like that spacing okay so Right now, we're almost all set up. Now it's pretty simple, but this, this main file doesn't know the other modules exist. So we have to set that up so it can actually work with the files correctly. So first, they do an include. So include, let's do 04a, prison module, and include 04b, circle module. Okay, so this just includes the file. This will compile them down and put them ready to read in the path. But to actually import it, you have to use the statement called using. So using prism mod. And then we also have an import. Import dot circle mod. Now I'm going to go into the difference of what these do, but these both include the files. And the final thing we have to do is the namespace. So you can see here we have prism, and because that comes from the prism mod, I have to put prism mod dot. See, I'm doing that dot syntax, and we're going to do it for the other one. And then the same thing here. This comes from circle mod. A dot okay and it compiled it ran did everything fine i didn't put any print statements so it doesn't show anything but if i wanted to do print ln of c dot radius okay so going into what happens we included the files and then we imported them in so now this has access to the code here and we imported them using using and import. So 
These both work in a similar fashion, but there's a slight nuance between them. So using works just as import, but it has an extra bit where if we're using something like, let's say, I'm going to put an export. Export volume. I'm going to put that statement. If we go back here, and let's say I wanted to do print ln of p of volume p. I can do that. All right. So do you see? Do you see what happened here? In here, I had export volume, and here I'm using using. You notice I didn't do the dot syntax. And that's that's pretty much what using does. It able to work with this export commands. Anything you put here, when you call using, it will read it into this space without having to do prison mod. So you can see I didn't have to do the dot syntax. I could still do it and it would know what I'm talking about. See, it still, still read it and did fine. But because I put export and I'm using using, it did that fine. Now, if I were to do that in circle, or circle const, we go back to modules. I do this. Oh, well, yeah, it's, it's not going gonna, gonna to be fine. But now if I do this, now it's going to give me an error. And import doesn't work with export, which I find a little bit strange. I, <laughs> you, you think with the alliteration that they would put export with import and using would be its own thing, but they don't. It's kind of a weird thing. So import doesn't use export, and it's always requiring you to use the namespace. So in here, I always have to write, oopsie, come on, nope. Come on, circle mod, and then this is the namespace, it's the space of this module, and it will call this function, and this function will be called over here, and then it allows you to do it. While, because in here of export, I was able to call it without having to use that namespace. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it to modules. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's always more complexity, but a module is essentially just a repository of your code. And I have functions, I have my structs, I wanted to throw const in here, I do that too. And when I import it in, I'm able to use all of them using this dot syntax. Right? I would call prism mod dot whatever. And that would call the value, the function, the struct. And that's actually pretty much the last video for this series. The next series can be more advanced topics and be a lot more into efficiency and any Thing else I can think of. <laughs> but that's the culminating point for this is now you're able to do reproducible code such as functions, structs, modules, and you can start saving it and coding it more for the idea of being used again rather than just coding it once, scripting once, and moving on. You can script it for the future. Okay, I think I'm done babbling. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys in the next video.